Hello and welcome back to yet another video where we are going to focus entirely on how to create compound conditional checks. And this is not something that is new to you. You have already seen that in the Bouncer One program where we broke down the age groups into certain ranges. And um, so we had the need to use the end operator to check whether the age falls within range A to B or C to D and then we took the appropriate action. Well, we are going to use the same program and then we will use a conditional operator. At least we know about the AND and we also know about the NOT. I'm just going to use the OR here and we'll see if that is going to result in a confusing program. So let's say on line 9, I said if age is greater than 40 or age is less than 60, then it has to say welcome to the VIP section and let's see what confusion this might cause. So I change this to all, and then over here, I am going to execute Python 3 bouncer1.py. I am bone shaker, and I am, let's say I am 75 years old. Where do I fall? It says, welcome to the party. I mean, it welcomes me. Welcome, Bone Shaker. Go to the VIP section. But wait, didn't we want this range to be between 41 and 60? And yet, Bone Shaker, who is 75, and so should be told to go home because he's too old, actually ends up in the VIP section. And you know what this is called in programming? It is known as a logical error. And logical errors are the type of errors that your interpreter or your compiler, if you are using a compiled language, will not be able to help you out because it is an error that is coming from how you are thinking about your program. And so the compiler can make no assumptions. The interpreter will make no assumptions and try to step in to help you. And these are very subtle bugs. When I say a bug, B-U-G, let me spell that. So a bug, okay? When I say a bug in a program, I mean that you are seeing an unintended effect in your program, an unintended outcome in your program that is referred to as a bug. And such logical bugs are very difficult to catch. I mean, if we made a syntax error, you know that Visual Studio Code will come in and put that wiggly line underneath it to help us know that, hey, there is a problem with your code even before we try to execute it. But for logical errors, it is not going to be able to help you. And it takes you having to go through your program line by line, sometimes taking a pen and paper and working through an example to ascertain why the program is behaving the way it is behaving. And then you will effect the necessary changes to get it to do what it has to do. Now, let's see why is Bone Shaker, who is 75 years old, ended up in the VIP section when he is supposed to be told you are too old and so he has to go home. Well, over here we are checking if age is greater than 40 or age is less or equal to 60. Now ask yourself, 75 is not within the range of 18 and 40. And so it is not going to pass line seven and eight. It's not going to pass this check here, right? And so the next L if is going to be executed and age is greater than 40. Ask yourself, is 75 greater than 40? Yes, indeed, 75 is greater than 40 by a margin of 35. And Remember, the logical operator we are using to construct a compound statement is OR. And once again, you need to remember that the OR returns true when either what is on the left evaluates to true or what is on the right evaluates to true. And so, as long as the left-hand side has evaluated to true, Python would not even bother to check the right-hand side because it has seen all, and so it takes a shortcut, which is not wrong in any way, because as long as it has seen one true, everything else doesn't matter because that is how they all operate. 
And that is the cause of the logical error that we are seeing in our program. And so you can see that this is so subtle and yet it can cost you time and money when it happens in a business um, setting. And so we change it back to end and now our logic is right. And mind you, it is case sensitive. So end and this, of course, Python does not even know what capital A N D stands for. So you always want to make sure you are typing your keywords in the correct case. And by keyword, what I mean is reserve words or tokens that have special meaning in the Python programming language. And it is not peculiar to Python. Every programming language out there has a set of keywords that have special meaning as far as the programming language is concerned. So I hope you've understood it and um, everything is working well as expected. Then I will say let's take a quick break and I will see you in the next video.